That's awesome right there. I remember um, when y'all came out in 2013, um, one of y'all band members, um, BJ, I had him on. I'm, I'm a promoter, so I had him on a program up here, and he was telling me about you ladies. And when I saw y'all, I just fell in love with y'all. So since the time that I had saw you since 2013, some of the members have came and gone. and uh, But y'all have continued to do great things. How was it for y'all whenever you won um, – the WIDU um, Carolina's Best. Jay, you want to take it? Well, I for me, I was shocked, you know. <laughs> I, I was shocked. Jamie, I bought a ticket. Uh-huh. I, I, was, I was so nervous and scared. I went ahead and bought a ticket for that Friday night. Isn't that something? Wow. So y'all did not know that many people loved y'all out there? (laughs) It was people that knew about y'all, and y'all probably didn't even know it. Well, I didn't. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Now that you say that, it's um, it's still amazing us, you know, wherever we go. It still amazes us of the people that do know us. You know, and then a lot of times it's, it's in areas that we haven't even traveled. So that just lets us know, I mean, that I mean, God is awesome. And he's opening all kinds of doors that we don't even know about right now. And he's just, he's just really moving on our behalf because it amazes me when we do go places that, we, like I said, we've never been. Mm-hmm. Get out the car. I'm yes. going to interview, right? Yes. So, and so, um, and, yeah, so it amazes us whenever that happens like that. Wow. Well, there are definitely a lot of people who love Ladies of Devoted, and I am one of them. I try to support as much as as often as I can. So out of the five ladies in the group, so which one acts like the mama of the group? Because I know I've seen Quartet. I've been seeing Quartet 30 years, and it's like five of us, and I can tell you I'm like the mama of the group. (laughs) So how is that for y'all? Well, I, I'm not going to say, I definitely know I'm not the mother of the group. Um, I'm more so probably more of a spiritual leader of the group mm-hmm. and just try to be an example of some kind, some type of light, and just encourage and, you know, uplift and, you know, just try to try not to allow the rest of them to get caught up in our flesh when things don't quite go right. Just always trying to, regardless of what I don't see, just kind of let them know that we still got to exercise our faith regardless. Regardless of what comes our way, who says what, what happens, we got to trust in God. So I think for me, I don't think I'm more so the mom in it. But now, Uh Jay, on the other hand, she might (laughs) be a little bit. (laughs) <laughs> she might be a little bit A little bit <laughs> All yeah, right, she all might right. be a little bit Okay, now one thing that I love about you ladies Is you don't hide who you serve I do love that about y'all And you know, oftentimes in quartet We hear the bad about quartet And, and people don't realize there's a lot of good about quartet too and one of the things that I notice about your group is that y'all are humbled and that y'all come the same way every time, and it's all about God. It's all about God every time. What is it that keeps y'all grounded in that position to let it be all about God? Because, you know, some people get an ego boost and they go a whole other direction, but y'all are just humbled. And one thing, too, that y'all say over and over time and time again, I think it's you, Chris, the one that says it all the time, you know, don't get focused on the name quartet. Get focused on who you serve. So tell us a little bit about exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly, because it's a ministry. And and I have, I have corrected people so many times, and I'll continue to do that, because first of all, Christ needs bold soldiers. It's enough of us out of this jelly bag. And we don't want to stand for what the word says. We want to try to bend in the wind, but that's not what we are supposed to do. And as a matter of fact, we was just um, somewhere week four last, and I and I and I think he was the 
pastor of the church or whatever, and he was like, well, I'm not being a quartet minister, but I really do, I really do, you know, enjoy you, ladies, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I told him, you know, thank him, but at the same time, I had to correct him right then and there, and I told him, I said, I can't help the type of style of music that I sing, I said, but it is a ministry before it is to be said anything else, before it is to be looked at as anything else. It is a ministry. The Bible says, well, there's two or three gathered together in his name. He'll be in the midst. And every, we all know, saints of God, that when God is in the midst, change can happen. Deliverance can happen. Some things can happen. So, and I think to be, to, to stay humble is to stay in Christ. See, if, if you, and I, I'm not talking about anybody, but I'm simply saying, if when you find yourself getting beside yourself, then maybe you won't serve him in the first place. Because so you're going to always remember where your help comes from. And you're going to always remember that you can do nothing without Christ Jesus. So I feel like okay. if you are indeed a true child of God, then you're going to stay home because the word is going to keep you there. That is so true. That is so true. And I love the way that you look at that and the way you put it out there, that quartet is a ministry. And whenever um, the men and women come to minister, they make differences in people's lives. It, it can make a difference if, you know, someone's on the verge of suicide and they may hear your song all over me and the Holy Spirit may drop down upon them, you know, and a change may come. So I love the way that y'all look at that and that, and I want to tell y'all, keep doing that. Keep doing that because we do have a lot of them who are just looking at it as a paycheck. But I do admire and honor y'all for continuing to stay on the word and spreading the word. Okay? All right. So we're going to call Chris the spiritual mother. That's who she is. She is the spiritual mother of the group. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so I know you ladies are cutting a new CD Y'all were in Remarkable Studios Those of y'all who do not know Remarkable That is Ray Braswell He produces a lot of gospel music I mean a lot of gospel music What made y'all choose to go to him This time to cut your, C- your CD album Well I mean His name um, his, his name and his product Speaks for itself I know me personally. I've heard I have heard a lot of his project, and you can it they, it definitely stands out amongst the, of the others. Um, we're I, we're working with um, one of his engineers, Mr. William Purvis, I think his name is, and um, and so he's I guess like one of his proteges or whatever. But he's an awesome, awesome engineer, um, and so we'll be we're actually working up under him. And and uh, I don't know. It's it's just the door just came open. That's really the best way I can describe it because we don't really know them very personally. You know what I'm saying? We don't really know them like that. Um, but we do know he do good work, and it's just one of those doors. I mean, and he the the reason why I say that is because um, it's just the way he came at it. You know, wanting to work with us, and you know, just really find out who we were and what kind of, you know, what our ministry was or something like that. Yeah. And I, I have been bragging on him ever since, you know, that he is just a really awesome. I told him while we was in there, I said, um, young man, you have a gift. I said, anybody can go out and buy all this equipment, but it takes somebody that is gifted to really know what to do with it, you know. And so, you know, so he he's a really good good person, really good hearted individual. So we're excited, man. As a matter of fact, our promo is getting ready to drop March the first. So whenever you get off, when whenever we get off, you make sure you inbox us your email address, and we will go ahead on and send you the MP3s for the promo single because we have been sending out. Um, the promo singles um, a- actually yesterday and today. I've been sending out quite a few. So. Miss Coco, you definitely, definitely got to have it. But um, we, we're excited. We're excited about what God is doing. I got to have it. Now, Jay trying to be quiet, but, Jay, I got you right here. I got you right here. I know that you are mostly, mostly the songwriter of the group. So what is different about this new CD that y'all got coming out? Um, I put more into it. It was more work on this one. There, see, there are times when 
you're right, but there's times when you have to dig, you know, and it's and I'm more uh, mellow on some songs. If you notice, I sing hard, and uh-huh. I want it to come across in a more mellow way. So now you get a chance to actually hear me sing softly, mellow, get in tune with it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So who who inspires y'all when it comes down to doing your music and your songs? What group that's out here now inspires y'all? Well, you know what? We we came like I said, it's it's about twenty, twenty five year plus years within the group. And really those twenty five plus years comes between me and Jay. And so, um, I can only tell you who inspired me then. And that was like the Stevenson sisters, the Lumsy sisters, um, True That, the Pay sisters. Um, oh, yeah. more, more so those, you know what I mean? It, it's maybe not so many now, but we, I mean, there's a lot that we just love to hear. You know, we we love to hear Sister Rabina, and we love to hear um, what's the, what's some other female groups. Um, Oh God, I'm going. I'm, I'm having a a brain fart. But but the ones that we really just kind of you know looked at was like the ones from back in the day, the Clark sisters. You know, we we were lovers of them too. You know, the Williams sisters. So it, you know, it was a lot of female quartet groups, but it was the ones that was from back in the you know from back in the time that kind of laid some foundation for the ones that are coming up now. Yes, yes, they really did. I mean, it's some awesome women that are out there. And, you know, sometimes uh, uh, people say they don't get enough credit, but, hey, you know what? They may not, but people are touched all around the world, touched all around the world. You know, whenever you go and you watch TV shows and all that, first thing you hear is some of these older quartet groups singing, these women. And you don't hear too many of the men, but the women are out there, amen? (laughs) All right. Oh, yeah, that's really for us now. Yes, There's definitely yes. room for it. Yes. So we're coming down to the wire. I want you all to go ahead and tell us when we can expect your album to be out. And also go ahead and give your booking information just in case if someone's listening, listening that they may have your information and, you know, go on and book y'all. Okay. You want to take this one, Jay? No, go ahead. <laughs> All right, well, we are laser devoted of Tampa, North Carolina. If you would like to um, book us for a service or a program, you can book us through Miss J. Boykin, and her number is 910 514 3332. You can also email us at devoted, D E V O T E D 612 at gmail.com. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I thank you ladies so much for joining me this evening, and I'm definitely praying for your album to be a success. I'm praying for God to open up even more doors, even in your lives, even in your personal lives. I'm praying for God to just touch in all areas of your lives because y'all truly Amen. have touched me. You say that, I really mean it because when All Over Me came out and I first heard that, I just lost my dad, and I was going through some oh, wow. mental issues. And when I heard that song, I would just break down, and then it seemed like the Holy Spirit would just fall on me, and I'd get picked right back up. So I thank you Amen. so much. Amen. God be the glory. For all, that, for all that you are doing in the gospel community and the industry. Now, we're going to go out um, playing y'all song all over me, and is there anything, any type of encouragement that y'all would like to give out to anyone before we leave? Any upcoming artists? I know y'all haven't been out there long, but y'all know the road because you've been there. Yes, ma'am. The main thing is you you have to live the life that you sing about. It's, it's just not enough anymore to just sing because the enemy is very, very real, and the world is can get very, very ugly. And so you got to have a foundation. You got to have a root. You got to be able to connect to what it is that you're singing about and what it is that you're saying. Because if you don't connect to it, do not look for anybody else to. And one thing about it, the anointing makes the difference. 
the and only God can give that. I don't care how good you sing. Only God can give the anointing.